Well, my name is Derek Ramage. Uh, we're here in uh, the uh, the nice town of Pilot Butte. I've uh, been building a rink probably for since I moved here in 2008, so I've probably had it for seven years now. So along the way, I've learned a whole bunch of things to uh, minimize my time and effort into actually building this because that's the most important thing because it's not exactly ideal to be out here when it's minus 30 for extended periods of time. So uh, I'll talk about some things on how to build it. The, the biggest thing you got to do when you build a hockey rink or just any type of rink for that matter is to get a liner. Two reasons. Number one, saves your time in water. Money is a big thing obviously and water costs money and you don't want to lose any of it so you need a liner. And number two, in the summertime, if you want to have a decent looking lawn, you better have a liner for your rink because otherwise it freezes the roots and it, it makes it a mess to, to try to get back in the summertime. So there's two reasons why you definitely need a liner. A liner costs maybe, depending on the size of it, could be anywhere from 50 bucks to a couple hundred bucks, but a new one every year is a must. If you're going to do the rink, you got to do it right. Save your time, get a new one every year. You know there's going to be no holes in it because holes do nothing but cause you problems with the rink. It causes unevenness, it freezes the top layer, if it leaks out the bottom now you got chunks of ice in there, it doesn't work. You need a new liner every year so those are the two things that I would suggest strong for people if they are going to build a rink. To actually build the, the structure, depending on how level or unlevel your yard is, you need to decide how thick you need your, uh, your, your, your wall. So essentially what I have here is 2x12s all the way around because I have a spot in the back corner that's about 10 inches unlevel so you can do it with 2x12s if if you got 16 inches unlevel well then obviously you're going to need a little thicker so the easiest way is just to get the thickness all the way through get the liner all the way up against it like a pool liner and have it all the way around now up here in the corner of this rink it's only like two inches thick and you only need two inches to skate on even a guy like me you just need two inches my kids you could probably get away with a half an inch but the heavier you are obviously the thicker you are and it's only two inches here you can, you can make your boards or your, your liners lower around here and then again the back corner is where the deepest part of mine is. So it depends on your yard, uh, depends on how much uh, thickness that you need but it, it, you could do it with any thickness. It doesn't matter. If you need to be two feet in the corner then it's two feet. It doesn't matter because it's just a liner. And so as long as you stake it in on the outside uh, to hold your walls then, then you'll be fine. You have to do this when it gets cold. When, when you see the forecast is going to be extended period of cold so this year I was lucky enough, in the middle of November there was about a week and a half, two week period where it was minus 15 to minus 25 like every night and that's what you need to get the rink going. So once you get it started, get a good thick freeze, then if it, in December this year it got to plus again so it didn't wreck my rink because I, I had enough of a, a good freeze on it that, it that it was fine. So as you can see on the back there, just so I don't wreck neighbors windows or my fence, I just have a bit of a shooting uh, boards there just to stop the pucks from going over. I only shoot at one way. When it snows you really got to get the snow off because if you, if you leave snow sit on a rink for too long it gets hard and crusty and then imagine trying to your driveway trying to get snow off when it's crusty like that. It's very difficult to do so you have to be pretty diligent just like a driveway of, of the rink to, to get the snow off and if you can do that then you keep a, a nice surface for for actually skating. And then once it gets all scraped up like it kind of is now uh, you can just flood it and I just made a, a basically a Zamboni out of a PVC pipe garden hose attachment and holes in the end with a 90 degree thing and it and with a t-shirt hanging off the back and it floods it just perfect. Flooding with hot water is the best because it uh, bonds the best and it, it actually freezes faster than cold water. So flooding is pretty forgiving on rinks. If you, if you screw up one way or something like that you can just always add more water. It, that's the nice part about where we live. We can just add more water and to, to fix any of the problems that might occur. So that's, that's probably all I have for, for the, the rink.